Now, this is like the, the end part, too, man. We got to talk about this schedule, bro. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. so obviously, uh, we talked about this probably like two weeks ago when the NFL was talking about uh, moving to 17 games instead of 16 games. They officially voted it, said, yes, we're going to do 17 games. Our 17th opponent is the Seattle Seahawks now, right? So the NFL, they do what they do. They say, man, we're going to rank who has the toughest schedule going into next year. Now... If you remember last year, they talked about us and how we had an easier schedule, especially yeah. the beginning half of it. And I always found it funny how they would say our schedule is easy, but then we would hear people praising the Ravens and the Browns, and it's like, y'all playing the same yeah. teams we're playing. It's like, they're viewed as hot right now. We're viewed as taking it easy because we got these teams. Now, the NFL says, okay, we're going to do this again. We're going we're gonna to reset it. They hit the reset button. Boop. And now they have us with the quote-unquote toughest schedule in 2021. So just reading off the, the list of teams now, we don't know when we're going to play them in terms of what weeks, but we do know location. So started out, you got the Ravens, who obviously finished 11 and, 11 and 5 last year. We played them twice. Obviously home and away. Bengals, 4, 11 and 1. We'll play them twice, home and away. And then we got the Browns, 11 and 5. We'll play them twice, both home and away. Then from there, we have to go to Buffalo. Now, like I said, it's not in any order. That one's, that one's got to be late in the season, the snow. You, you would think so, right? Yeah, they're definitely going to do that. At Buffalo, obviously Buffalo finished 13-3, and three, won the AFC East. Then we have the Bears coming into town. They finished 8-8. Eight and eight. Andy Dahl, your favorite quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, we got the Broncos. They'll be coming into town 5-11. and 11. Definitely want to see that again. Then you got the Lions coming into town as well, who are also 5-11. and 11. It's crazy. You got 8-8, eight 5-11, and 5-11. Eight, five, 11, five, 11. They said we got a tough schedule. Make that make sense. But then, this is where it gets a little interesting. At the Green Bay Packers, who finished 13-13. and A.A. Ron. We know how we feel about him. At the Kansas City Chiefs, finished 14-2. and We know what Mahomes is. Now, interesting scenario here. If we get them in that first month of September, I love this matchup. Mahomes, still, he had surgery a little while ago. Mm. He's in a walking boot. He's in a boot, they say, up until football, like football, football starts, like training camp time frame. Chiefs haven't you, you, got all the free agents they wanted either. Exactly. I like that early. I, I don't want I don't want that late in the year. Even at the NFL, they would prime time that late in the year. I would love that early on. I would love. That I mean, there's going to be two or three great <coughs> games every month for oh, the Steelers. Absolutely. Like these are these are going to be awesome. And matchups. we're not even done yet. Wait, but but wait, there's more. Hosting the Las Vegas Raiders, eight and eight. That's where they finished last year. Then we have to go to LA to the Chargers. Man, listen, listen. Listen, we missed out on that two years ago, baby. Yeah, yeah. I need us to run that back. This is uh, that, that's this is redemption City right there. That's, this is redemption oh, time. Oh, what? The new stadium. S- send me to LA. Can we go? Come on, man. I- I'm ready. Are you ready? Can we, we... I think we need. If it. we go, y'all got to be there with us. All right. Sure. <laughs> Chargers. They finished that. They finished that seven and nine. Then we have the. We have to go to the Vikings as well. They finished seven and nine. Who's the quarterback in Minnesota right now? Oh, Kirk. You like that? <laughs> Then the uh, the Seattle Seahawks will be coming into town. They finished twelve and four. Obviously, Russell Wilson, and then the Tennessee Titans making another appearance in Heinz Field. Finished eleven and five last year. Obviously, they had the Russian leader, Mister Two K himself, Derek yep. Henry. Based off those teams, the rankings uh, in terms of where they finished and just how their rosters are constructed right now, not a lot of that scares me. Even though we know our roster isn't right. a finished process right now, we know we have a lot of work to do in terms of the draft, right? It still isn't as scary as they make it sound. I just, yeah, I feel like, man, obviously we know the usual suspects. You think Packers, Chiefs, Bills, Seahawks, yes, Titans is going to be tough. Ravens is going to be interesting. And the Browns, the Browns are still, I'm still interested to see what they're going to look like. But I, I don't feel like this is some, like, overly daunting, oh, man, how are we going to even you know, make it to, to double-digit wins. I don't see that off the top with this right here, man. We had some of our best runs when we have one of the toughest schedules. I know our yeah. 2008 year, we hands down had the toughest mm-hmm. schedule, but you think for some of those years in the late 2000s, we were first place. We were playing mm-hmm. first place teams from other divisions. And yeah. you know how they set it. It's like you play two divisions, all the teams, mm-hmm. and then they give you two random first place division winners like just to yeah. match up the uh, the places basically mm-hmm. like second place from AFC North place yeah, second yeah. place from a random like how they did for uh, week 17 this year uh with the AFC North and the NFC West division leader versus division leader two versus two three versus three yeah yeah so <laughs> we've we've had tough schedules yeah it, 
It doesn't really bother me, dude. I, I could have told you we probably had the toughest mm-hmm. schedule before these rankings came out just because of some of these teams mm-hmm. and how they finished last year. We got, I mean, we got three teams coming out of the AFC North that oh, made yeah. the playoffs. So Absolutely. It's automatically going to make our schedule look pretty Tougher. tough. Yeah. But like you said, are you believing in the Browns? That's the one that's no. so intriguing to me. And Ravens will be fine, but mm-hmm. I think I still think we're going to be better than the Ravens this year. Well, I'm trying to think. The past couple years, we've split with them, right? Except, uh, well, no, since Lamar's been here, that's the different part, right? No. We we we, uh, we swept we them swept, last year. Yeah, the first year we got swept where Ben got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was Lamar's first full year starting. We should have won. That was that, that overtime yeah. we were, right, game right. we were talking about. So we about. still should have split even then. So I look at that like even if that's a split, I still like us, though. I, I like, <laughs> This schedule isn't, like I said, it's nothing Unless crazy. Unless you want to say the here, Bengals man. bump up a little bit. I'm still not scared of them. I mean, Chargers. Nah, well, Chargers are interesting because two things. Number one, Herbert another year older. <clears throat> but Derwin James should also be coming back. Now, can he stay healthy? That'll be the interesting part. Great early on. Yeah, Chargers are loading up on offense, yeah. too, with the offensive linemen. And they still got Bosa them. over there, the, the, uh, the younger one. No, 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 the older, older Bosa's yeah, over Joey. there. Joey, yep. Yeah. So they got some guys. There. But we're still favored in that. And then yeah. you run through the Broncos, Raiders, Bears, Lions. Know, we also know us playing in LA, that's a home game for us. For sure. That's going to be a home game for us. For sure. Without a doubt. <laughs> Place is going to be going crazy. Yeah. I mean, Titans, Seahawks, those are two other good teams. Like, there's probably, all right, Titans, Seahawks, mm-hmm. Packers, Chiefs, Bills. I mean, yeah, you could probably say like those are yeah. toss-up type of games. Raiders, I would throw Raiders in there as well. Raiders, mm. yeah, but, yeah. I think they played the Chiefs. They split. Then they didn't split with the Chiefs. No, did they split with them? Yeah, they did. They yeah, did yeah. split with them. They should have won. They should have won the second one. Yeah, they should have won. They they are a weird team because obviously Gruden has them well coached, but they go as car goes. If car looks good, they look good. When he plays in, eh, they look at. Eh. But we, I love the running game. You know what, Josh Jacobs love that. Defensively, they're doing some things to improve. They still got all them young draft picks, though. That's the thing they got to do. How those young guys step up, start to grow a little bit more. But that could, I just think that that could be an interesting one just because of just the style of play. I think it could be a little different. Heinz Field, that helps yeah. us a little bit. Yeah, I love it in Heinz. I don't like In Vegas, I think it'd be too much distraction. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, we got a tough schedule. I mean, what else can you say? But yeah. I feel confident. I, I feel confident the in the Steelers. Yeah, I, I really tough. do. Yeah, that's my thing. I, I, it's tough, yes. But when you hear the toughest schedule the way the NFL ranks, and I'm like, man, out of all 32 teams, we got the toughest? Like, it's one of those things. Like, ah. For me personally, Packers, Chiefs, I know you're high on the Bills, but could you see a yeah. little drop off from the Bills? I don't know. But, like, the Packers and the Chiefs are the only two teams outside of our division, uh, Seahawks too, where consistently mm-hmm. they're always in the mix. Yeah. Now, could you see a drop off from the Titans? Yeah, I think you could definitely see that. The Browns, I know how you feel about the Titans, man. It's all good. The Browns. <laughs> it's all good. Already. Titans it. Titans and Bills. You want the job. I already heard it. You're, you're throwing it out there. You're starting early. I hear you. I hear, I'm not going there with you today. I'm not going I'm there not, with you, you today. You know what? I'm not going to rip on the Bills like that. I'm just going to say, could they? Could they be taking some uh-huh. type of a drop off? I'm not going to bet on it because okay. I do think the Bills are a pretty solid team. Yeah. But in terms of the three teams that have been consistent over the past you know, three or four years, right, we right. know they're going to be at least above 500 in the playoff mix. Chiefs, Packers, and Seahawks. And yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll throw the Bills. I like the Bills better than the Titans. I I'm, think. I'm glad you said that. I'll say that. I'll put them. In, in my most unbiased opinion, I like them better than them too. <laughs> I like them better I'll than put a them, lot of teams. I'll put them as the fourth team. I'll put them as the fourth team. Okay. Or at least they're in that top four mix. Right, I, right. I would maybe take them over Seattle right now, but I just know yeah, the body of work. Top four just in the NFL, not even. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. top four, okay. five, six, whatever it is. Gotcha. But in terms of the, the teams on our schedule, I'd probably yeah. take them over Seattle right now. It's just what I'm saying is Seattle with Russell Wilson. Mm. I always know they're going to be ten and six, eleven and five, but yeah. now it's going to be ten and seven. Right. But I, <laughs> so I'm already, I'm already I hate confused. That I'm sounds, already confused bro. with the math, but um, <laughs> yeah, those should be fine. So yeah, we we got a tough schedule. We'll be fine though. We'll yeah. be fine. I can dig it. I can dig it. I, I'm confident, and, and the people in the chat they're confident with it as well, man. Tough division, no doubt, but they like it. Cam Cam says the Chargers are on the rise. I don't want to hear it. Dude. Uh, they they are, but they're not rising with us just yet. <sighs> I like them though. I've seen this too much throughout my NFL fan career. Yeah. You get a rookie quarterback, you get some hype. <laughs> a lot of these teams and, and players they can't sustain. They Very can't. true. Very true. It's hard. It's That's hard, what I'm talking man. about with the Chiefs, the yeah. Packers. I honestly, I guess the Chiefs really haven't sustained it that long. They've just been on a crazy run these yeah. past three years. Yeah. 
But with Alex Smith, they were in the playoffs and stuff. They just mm-hmm. were never doing any real big winning with Alex Smith. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm with you. No big winning, man. <laughs> hey, Joey, two times now. He believes in the Lions. He says, watch out for my Lions. Come on, A ton man. of exclamation points. But then he says, just Wait, kidding. we got Lions fans. He, he, said, he we says, got, just kidding. We suck. We got Lions fans. We do got Lions. We, got some That's Lions. Awesome. Man, we got fans of other teams. They, they rock with us a little. You know what I'm saying? They in here. Even though we, we are yeah. pretty exclusively Steelers with our stuff. but We, we are. But, but it's like we're exclusive with a side eye. You know what I mean? Like, we're committed, but we peeking. Yeah, we, we, we talk about some know? hot topics around the yeah, league. We, yeah, we, we see you over there. We, we get, I, I got you. I peek what you're doing. We, we give them that, but we're committed here, though. Sure. Like, this is Bay, and it's like, I like you. You're cute. You're nice. Maybe they like the passion. We're passionate. That's Maybe what that's is, what it man. is. We're nice. Yes, we're nice people. We, 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 we spread this content around every once in a while. But hey, you want more content about other teams? Just have them come on over here. As long as, they, as, long as y'all letting us know, we're going to keep it going. We, we've always been open, right? Sure. People want to hear about this. We talk about that. People want to hear about that. Well, we talk about that. Y'all just got to let us know. That's it. You know I mean? We ain't putting that on us. We put that on them. Sure. Yeah, put it on them, baby. Sure. But yeah, let's see, man. Is that everything? Whew. I think so. We're getting some of these names in here. <laughs> Dude, is there any of your Bills boys in here ripping on me? Oh, uh, no, 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 Bills. Get, no, you're good for right now. I'm checking. I don't see anybody coming at you. You're good. We're, yeah, you're good. You're good. We're, we're, we're spitballing names right here. That, that's what I'm seeing in this section. I just see Moats Mania, Moats Goats, Art uh, Gallery. And then they were like, yo, we got to include Art Deke. Gallery. Yes, the Art Gallery. It was like, you got to include Deke in there. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't got to include me. It's cool. It's cool. Both of the followers. <laughs> You don't got to include The art me. gallery is funny. I was like, <laughs> we're going to send this out to the art gallery. <laughs> but yeah, man, because you know, that, that, that's what everybody do, right? They got their, their loyal group or whatever they call them. That's a good one. That is, right? I like it's it. It's funny. I don't know if that, <laughs> that sticks long term, though. I don't know. And, and, and so I know, I don't even like art. I, don't, I, I know I like art. I don't like to be called art, though. Sure, you know what I mean? sure. So it's like, ah, it's like, ah. I'm Maybe like, now I'm we got to do it, though. Chill, see? <laughs> you you should have said that. type of dudes, right? <laughs> I try to be transparent and open, and you just take it and use it against me. Yeah. And you wonder why I'm shallow. 